Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. Um, just, I'm not anywhere today. I just wanted to, today, I just want to give you guys a few updates. Um, so I know yesterday you guys were messaging me. A lot of you guys were messaging me saying that Google Classroom wasn't working. You weren't able to upload your files or the files were not found. Um, I let Mrs. Mendez know and I spoke to your other teachers and I guess this is not just a problem you're having with my class, but you're having with other classes. Even myself, when I tried to get the files on my phone, it wasn't working. But when I went onto my laptop, it was working. Um, so thank you for messaging me. Um, bear with us. We're still going to try. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Mrs. Mendez is going to reach out to the tech people to see what's going on with that. Um, but I appreciate you guys messaging me because at least you're still on task and you're still doing what you need to do. Um, secondly, I know that we were scheduled to come back on April 1st, but that is getting postponed. Um, so we just got word right now, maybe like an hour ago. Um, that we are going to be out of school until at least April 20th is when we'll return. So after spring break, that's what they have in store for us right now. But we'll see what's going on because we have to still um, follow along with what California is telling us to do and what LA is doing. So a few more weeks of this, but hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we can go back to school. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the content that we're going to learn today. Um, but before we start, I just want to let you guys know today is the last day of this section. And tomorrow you guys are going to take a test. It's going to be an online test. Um, I'm going to make it all multiple choice and you guys will be able to use the notes and anything that you have that will you can use to help you on the test. Um, so I know this last few days we've been doing it online. So if you want, you can go ahead and go back to all the old files and get those PDFs and save them, screenshot them, or do what you need to do in order for to, ha to use those notes on the test. You can also use the YouTube videos if you'd like, um, but anything that you have at home to help you with the test since we're not going to review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or let me know through Google Classroom and I can answer or help you guys out with any questions that you may have. So yesterday we talked about the challenges that the church was facing and how they were fighting against the Muslims to get them out of Spain. Um, at first, uh, people were still upset with the church. They thought they were becoming too wealthy, too greedy, and that they were only caring really about money and power. And they didn't, they forgot what was the church was all about. So all these people started to come up with these religions that were going and teaching people things that were against the church. And these people, these teachings were called heresies. Heresies was anything that was getting taught that went against the Catholic church. The people that followed it were called heretics. Um, Pope Innocent III, he saw this and he saw this as a threat to the church because he said if people start to realize that they can rebel and start to get and get away with talking bad about the church, it could lead into a bigger rebellion and a lot more problems. So Pope Innocent III, he decided to launch another crusade and pretty much wipe out all these heretics and get rid of all these false teachings about the church. At the same time, the Muslim kingdoms were also fighting with each other, and they're actually fighting each other for power. And what they were doing was they're actually weakening themselves because they're fighting against themselves. Um, the whole church in Europe, they saw this as an opportunity, and especially Spain. And what they did was they lost, they launched all these different conquests um, trying to get rid of the Muslims in their land. So the Sp Spanish people, they, lost this, they launched this thing called the Reconquista, where they were going around and they were trying to kick out the Muslim Moors, which... Um, own this land and they wanted to gain back this land and turn them all to Christians. The church was real successful at doing this and came to power um, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabel. And when they came into power, they saw this as another opportunity and they launched their own thing called the Spanish Inquisition. And what they did was they wanted to make sure, once they got rule of Spain, they wanted to make sure that nobody was um, a di of a different religion. So this new thing called the Spanish Inquisition, what they did was they sent out these priests and they would go out there and look for Muslims, they would look for Jews, and they would either try to convert them, ban them, or they would torture them. Some things that they would do was they would torture them in public and they would burn them on site. They would burn them right there in front of everybody to show everybody that you shouldn't mess with the church and all these heresies that are going on, all these other religions that are going on in Spain is not going to be allowed. Okay? So today what we're going to talk about, um, we're going to actually talk about what happened to the Jews. Um, you guys are learning about it in Miss Menezes' class about um, the Holocaust. And the Jews are always getting picked on for some reason. And this last 
section that we're going to talk about is how exactly the Jews were discriminated against in Spain and in Europe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to it. Before I forget, I better tell you guys the objective. Um, today, your objective is um, we're going to be able to explain and describe the different types of discrimination the Jews faced in not only Europe, but also um, throughout the whole Middle Ages. Okay. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and review your homework questions. Number one, what is a heresy? A heresy was any of the ideas that opposed the church's teachings. Um, a lot of you guys got that correct. Number two, what was the purpose of the Spanish Inquisition? Um, the purpose of the Spanish Inquisition was to ensure that Christianity was going to be the only religion practiced in Spain. And what they did was they banned all other religions and they kicked them out or they punished people for being these uh, practicing these other religions. Number two, how did the Reconquista affect um, the Jews and the Muslims? Um, what happened was they were just mistreated. Um, the Jews were either trying to be the Jews were either converted into Christianity or banished from Spain, and the Muslims were pretty much banned and pretty much kicked out of Spain as well. Both of these people, the Spanish Jews and the Muslims, were also tortured for practicing their own religion and publicly shamed. So like I said, today we're going to talk about how the Jews faced discrimination. Um, heretics and Muslims were not the only groups that were punished for their beliefs in the Middle Ages. European Jews also suffered. These sufferings was caused by the Christians who believed the Jews were responsible for the death of Jesus. So the Christians, they believed that the Jews were the ones that were solely responsible, when we actually know that it was actually the Romans who were the ones that actually killed Jesus, but they thought that it was all the Jews' fault. The Jews were the ones that put him under the bus, and the Jews were the ones that caused Jesus to die. So these Christians thought the Jews should all be punished. Um, they thought that um, all these Jews needed to be punished. The punishment for these Jews was either um, torturing, killing, or they would have to leave the country. Most of Europe actually did this, so it wasn't just in England or in Spain that did this. All of Europe was doing this towards the Jews, which was really unfair because the Jews really didn't do anything. So the Jews were the target of everything. Um, for example, in 1290, the king of England arrested all English Jews and forced them to leave the country with nothing, with leaving everything they had behind. Um, the same thing happened in France, and it happened in 1306, and again in 1394. Um, they, the same thing they did. They saw all the Jews, and they kicked them out of the country. And the worst part was since everyone was blaming the Jews, they decided, let's just throw something else on them because everyone doesn't like the Jews, so we'll just blame everything bad on the Jews, which will get everybody riled up and get everyone to kick them out. So in the whole Holy Roman Empire, everyone started to blame the Jews for the cause of the Black Death. We all know that this isn't true. It wasn't the Jews' faults that brought the Black Death. It was just, since they were the target of discrimination, they just said, well, let's go ahead and just blame everything on the Jews. And it seems really unfair, um, but that's just how it happened back then. And the Jews were pretty much just kicked out just because of their beliefs. And the church was using their power and using their influence on everyone else to get everyone on their sides and to get the Jews out of all of Europe. So as a quick review, um, heretics, Muslims, and Jews, they all experienced discrimination in Europe during the time. The Jews, though, they experienced the most hate and most discrimination. Most of these Jews were forced to leave their homes, banned, they were tortured, they were killed, um, and everyone was pointing the finger at the Jews. Europe was blaming the Jews for the death of Jesus. They were blaming them for um, the Black Death, and they were just blaming everything on the Jews. So they launched crusades to go and find these Jews, and when they found them, they either banned them or they killed them off. And the Jews faced the worst, overall, the Jews faced the worst discrimination in Europe and throughout the Middle Ages in general. So for homework, I want you guys to answer these questions. Why did some Christians discriminate against the Jews? Number two, how did the kings and other rulers punish the Jews in the Middle Ages? And three, what groups, uh, what three groups were punished for their beliefs in the Middle Ages? Once again, I just want to remind you, this is going to be the last section for this part. And tomorrow you guys are going to take a test. So get your notes ready. Um, tomorrow you'll be taking an uh, online test, all multiple choice, and it will be open notes. So best of luck to you guys. 
And also, don't forget, tomorrow we are going to have another Zoom session. I will post it um, in the morning so you guys can join. And if you have any questions, I can answer them in your Zoom session. Okay? Have a good Tuesday. See you guys later.